making it even shittier. No. Yeah. Making it less pleasant to listen to. You like this Reddit? Yeah. Well, you know what's great about this doing pump? this? Is that like I'm always the one eating on the podcast, but they, all the people get mad and they're like, tell Stav to stop. <laughs> <laughs> they just assume he's doing it because he's morbidly obese. Mm-hmm. Yo, the fat shaming, it's real, son. Mm-hmm. Anytime there's a smell, mm. hey, fatty. Uh. But why you know why what you is, smell like that? What is true is that if anyone else is eating, then Stav is also eating. Oh, yeah, for sure. Never. Every time, every time we do the show, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to order food if you want to get food or whatever. He's like, no, nah, I'm trying to be good. I'm like, I, <laughs> I drank some juice earlier. You then know, you he did in. some blender <laughs> bullshit. And he's like, no, nah, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be like good about it. First of all, you can't be dieting if there is no diet. True. It's not just a general idea of I'm, I'm not going to order food. <laughs> I'm just let me never order food, eat. and he's like, "Oh, let me get one of them dumplings." And it's like, just order, just yeah. order food. We know you're going to do this every time, mm-hmm. and I understand it's addiction for you. But like, how fucking annoying would it be if you were like, let's say you and all your friends were crack addicts, right? And you're like, "Yeah, man, we're going to get some crack." Do you want? No, any crack? no, I'm good. I'm <laughs> no, a Jehovah no, Witness now. I'm he's done. like, "Yeah, let me just get a rock," and it's like, no. You waited for me every time. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I worry about that as a girlfriend all the time because all I want all the mm-hmm. time is just like two fries, and I know girl problems. Hashtag girl problems. I know I'm trying to represent, <laughs> and I know that it's terrible, but like I don't want a whole thing of fries. I just yeah. want two fries. Well, Stav's the fat girl from that Chris Farley Kai of some sketch, oh, which yeah. is the greatest sketch of all time. It's- Lay off, <laughs> yeah. Lay off me! I'm starving. <laughs> This is my most styled shirt, on a side note. It's mm-hmm. a great shirt. Came through. Trans for y'all. Mm-hmm. Trans-Siberian like, Orchestra was good. I'm just chewing directly on <laughs> no. the mic. Two of Comtown's favorites, uh, Trans and Siberia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And but orchestras. They're, but they're not the trans in the traditional sense. No, nah, no, nah, I think they just like... Well, I guess in all, the contemporary sense, not in the traditional sense. They just rode together. I yeah. think that's all that is. They just mm-hmm. go across Siberia. Yeah. Together. Yeah, like that fucking movie... You ever seen that shit? No. You know, you ever think it's how it's like kind of disappointing that like, this is it. We've maxed out the genders. There's not going to be any new weird things. Well, we just decided that that other than fucking children. That they can all be. (laughs) That's really the last frontier. A thousand years from now, people are going to be having dicks (laughs) off their ankles. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll be something else. I think, you know what? I think probably at some point pedophilia is going to, not in America. Be normal again? Yeah. Yeah, there'll be another culture. Well, I mean, it is normal in other cultures. Yeah, it already is. Which is is very. Where? In, like, Some Afghanistan uh, and stuff. Muslims. Yeah. They get down like yeah. that? All yeah, all Muslims. of Islam. Yeah. I thought they weren't allowed mm-hmm. to fuck at all. No, you can... They all... Like, in Afghanistan, is, you know, they, they all have, like, oh, yeah. child slaves and stuff. Yeah, the story is that the, the army was, like... There were soldiers, like, yes. I just stopped these tribal leaders from raping a boy. And then yeah. the colonels are, like... Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, you gotta let them just yeah, fuck you gotta let that boys. ride. I yeah. forgot about that. You gotta that. just let them fuck all those boys, and you're not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that oh, and that man. story came out like five years ago. Fuck, yeah. So it hasn't so all gotten those better. Boys are ten now. <laughs> you know? Getting ready for little league. Some um, of them, the ones that weren't murdered, I guess. Right. Yeah. Shit. Yes. There's a lot of. I wonder if pedophiles get defensive about that when somebody's like, "This guy's out there raping and murdering children." He's like, "I don't. I don't murder them." Yeah. <laughs> Probably. You're making me out to sound like a monster. Which I am, but like not to that <laughs> Less degree. of a monster. Right, yeah. you're like, if you're not the guy who's like trapping people in a hut behind your house. Mm-hmm. What's worse, fucking rich kids or poor kids? Poor. You know how like pedophiles, they pick on Oh, it's both just kids. bad. I shouldn't have answered that yeah, quickly. Yeah, see? <laughs> you just got blog it's, trapped. It's uh, both bad. You just got blog trapped. But it's, it is sadder when it's poor children. Right? Mm-hmm. Sorry. That's just a natural effect it's of money. true. Yeah. I mean, like, if Baron Trump was sexually assaulted, would you care? Keep in mind, he's, he's like, 10, but he's also, like, 6 foot 5. <laughs> <laughs> People don't realize how freakishly tall He's a very large that. boy. He's an enormous child yeah. yeah it's bizarre yeah. he comes off the bench for the milwaukee bucks yeah a lot of people don't know that he's like I, four and a half years old and he's probably got he's like a size 15 <laughs> shoe mm-hmm. and he can dunk looks great <laughs> it looks great in a suit he can definitely you know? touch glass yeah for sure good haircuts <laughs> i feel like what i feel ba- i don't know i don't want to that's <laughs> say i don't want to answer that question yeah. feel bad or not <laughs> yeah i would feel bad i feel bad for baron trump his dad sucks 
He seems he's like he's in a rough spot. In a tower. I feel you bad I mean? for him and Tiffany, and I don't feel bad for the other three. Yeah. Which is maybe unfair. But. I want to be the guy that exclusively goes after Baron and Tiffany trying on social media. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. Yeah. <laughs> I want to call the other, the, the older brothers, Lenny and Squiggy. Lenny and Squiggy? Yeah, they look like a little <laughs> Lenny and Squiggy. I, that, I feel like that gives them so much... That makes me feel so much more sympathetic towards them. Then, well, maybe I shouldn't. Because then it's like they're fun. They're jazzy. They're fun. Yeah, they I've never, could be in I've a never fun said this band. publicly. I've said it in like private circles. Ooh. I don't know if I should say it out loud. I can't believe you're saying something that you haven't said on the podcast before. It's just in. Oh, that's a that's An a exclusive. Deep burn. That's, that's <laughs> fucking rough. Man. I'm just I'm joking. Yeah, well, it fucking hurt. So, <laughs> yeah, your you know. your fake joke hurt for real. Yeah, I feel like we're much nicer than like. Stuff and Adam. Oh, originally yeah, like that a cuts friendlier. deep to like a fucking. <laughs> oh no! A problem I have about myself creatively and like the direction the podcast is going. That's not like oh, a, yeah. No. Make fun of Stav for being fat. I'm not like hurting his feelings about his real insecurities. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he loves being fat. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. That's his money maker. Duh. His whole wide ass fucking body. Best fat comedians. Gabriel Iglesias is uh, number was one through five, but sure. number six is Stavros. Yeah. I agree. I'm not. I'm not trying to say Stav shouldn't be fat. Well, anyhow, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. say that. There's True. a there's a comedian who I'm friendly with, but not like good friends with by any means. Nice guy. And we've always had friendly interactions, but he looks exactly like uh, Donald Trump Jr. Or maybe maybe Eric Trump, whichever mm. the blonde haired one is. Oh, I don't. I think it's Squiggy, Eric Trump. Squiggy, to be specific. Squiggy. Yeah. Yeah, and he looks exactly like him. And I've pointed it out to other people, and he's a nice guy, and people like him, and he's funny too. So they're like, he doesn't look like that. And then I show them, like, look, and then they have to be side like, sides. that's mean. That's <laughs> mean. <laughs> and they're like that's. I mean, you're right, but it's mean. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Donald Trump and Eric Trump are a very. They're like a type. There are a lot of people that look like them. Uh, yeah, like... other people whose last name is Trump. Yeah, mm. that's a made-up last name, right? Yeah. We already. You know, yeah. it's funny to look at like <laughs> pictures of the royal family and how they have the same facial features going back to like the 1200s. Jesus, that's how fucking inbred they are. Mm-hmm. You can oh. find like old paintings and they get the same nose. <laughs> they spent 200 years fucking each other just to get it set. A thousand like years, mm-hmm. dude. No, straight thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, man. That's how long the house of, of, of Bimbley Brook has been around. Damn. The house, house of Treyu. I think that's the British family's name. Really? That's no, from Neverland yeah, like Story. Band. I, like, oh. yeah, I, that's I think Atreyu's a metal band. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, know. they're kind of like like trapped. It's like one of the, that, that's um, one of the guys from NeverEnding Story. What, House Atreyu? Yeah, Atreyu. Oh, maybe that's where the band gets its name. Hell Pro- yeah. Probably. Yeah. Anyhow, the House Atreyu is the 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 king kingdom of England, the king's house. And the name of the house is going back thousands of years. <laughs> thousands of When I was growing up, one of, one of my friends was, um, her family was like related. I guess they were like, you know, they can't. They're related to the Spencers, like to Di- Princess Diana's Spencer's family, mm-hmm. <laughs> which is related family. to Princess Diana. The heir to the Spencers. Yeah. People don't know this. That's why they killed her. Yeah, is because it's because she turned fifty. <laughs> she turned and like, and we came up and honked her tits, and mm-hmm. then they killed her. And then and that's you're over the she... hill. <laughs> You old, you old broad. All their gifts there are like, you're 50. You, you still like boobs? <laughs> I remember Spencer's gifts being a lot of like, the stuff that I bought was a lot of like fairies. There were like, they had these like fairy print shirts that were like goth fairies. And that was the vibe. Uh, Very specific. You shopped at Spencer's gifts? Yeah, it was like Spencer's gifts and Hot Topic. They were like the same. For like six months. I, I, I don't like think I've ever grade. bought anything at either one of those stores. Yeah. I definitely used to go to Spencer's every time I went to the mall. Yeah. yeah. You go in there and look at stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was like you know, beating off related, but <laughs> I would never buy anything in there. Yeah. I would definitely, I was looking for shit to jerk off to later. Yeah. Oh. Source material. To remember things. That's yeah, even yeah. worse. You just went to Spencer's Gifts to <laughs> just check out the posters off? and be like, oh. That's why I would go to Auntie Anne's. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I would, I would, I would read the name to the pretzel and then imagine a woman. <laughs> 
who is shaped like a, a pretzel. Beautiful woman who was oh, good I bet at it's cooking. short for Annabelle. <laughs> yeah. oh, there you go. You get married, the whole house smells like yeast. You don't that's, know if it's from the pretzels or a pussy. Hey. That's why I always went to Wetzel's Pretzels. Yeah, I would go there <laughs> and just Wetzel's. jack off <laughs> to someone named Wetzel. Wetzel. Yeah. Pussy's Wetzels right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my pussy's uh, a Wetzel. A place called instead of Pretzel Time, it's Pretzel Dimes, and it's like hot women that serve you pretzels. Okay, I'd go there. That'd be sick. I'm yeah. turned on. Yeah, so I couldn't Let's do it. Get some get some Puerto Rican mommies down there. You know what I mean, yeah. put the baby oil on. Yeah, Puerto Rican pretzel time. It's just butter and like little salt crystals. Yes, yeah, so just all over. Mm-hmm. This is a bitch named Lucinda. <laughs> yeah, is that a Puerto Rican name? I think so. It yeah. might be. I'm not sure though. I can't really call it. <laughs> it's a good name. Yeah. What's Puerto Rico mean? Port rich. Rich yeah, but rich, 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 rich port. port. Rich port. That'd yeah. be a better name. If they change it to that, I guarantee you they'd let them in the U.S. They'd get, so, they'd get full, full statehood. State state yeah. Rich be a port. town in Connecticut. <laughs> you have to tell, just tell Trump that it's rich port. Yeah. And he would... It's a beautiful country. I found out recently most of them aren't even Spanish. <laughs> Some of them are black. Who knew that? It's no one crazy. else knew that. It was just me. <laughs> I, mean, I asked President Xi about it. I, basically, any country I don't know about, I go to China and I ask the president about it. <laughs> president of China tells me about all the countries. We got a great relationship. He's a beautiful man. Your Trump sounds like Tony Bennett, and I love oh, it, son. Cool. That should have stayed. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if he said ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> yeah. love him. did you read that Atlantic article about the slave? I did. Not I did. Like a little Trump slave? No, no, no. no, oh. no just like some Filipino guy. guy wrote this like fucking long read about how he grew up with a slave in Seattle. His yeah. Name, his Filipino immigrant slave. family <laughs> had a fucking slave. Slaveless in Seattle. That and was then, me. Like, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was my thing. Yeah. yeah. Slaveless in Seattle. <laughs> yeah. And... Uh, well, it's just yeah, this <laughs> white supremacist Meg Ryan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just complaining the whole time. Um, uh, uh, yeah, it was a crazy article because he just keeps the slave is the moral. Oh, yeah. Story. He's, he's like, when I turn 40, <laughs> like, there's nothing to do with the slave except I kept her, but now it's nice to her. Here's a picture of me giving her a hug. You I know? paid her $200 a week yeah, and told right. her she didn't have to cook, but she still did. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. And it's like, he, so he continued <laughs> having a, a slave. He was just a better slave owner than his parents. <laughs> yeah. And fucking, uh, and all the people were responding to it and they're like, wow, this is so beautiful and nuanced. I know, and it's like, people cry. No, this guy should be in jail. Yeah, no. Well, that's he's a, that's a lucky. Right I mean, he, he died. died. He's dead. He, he died. But the thing today they found that he like lied to the obituary. They had an obituary for her in the Seattle Times mm. or whatever the fuck newspaper they have up there. Not slavery magazine. <laughs> yeah. Not only slavery. And they before. said yeah. that they, and they were like, oh, she was just. She, someone asked her to take care of the family in the Philippines, which they didn't ask her. They made her. Yeah. And then she was so devoted asked to the family, pretty much, yeah. or like you'll you'll starve. And then they took her to America, and she had to stay with them because she like had, was the, for a while was there illegally. Anywho. Yeah lied to the oh he tried to justify it in the article too saying like oh well you know if we let her go back home then we would get in trouble with immigration so good you should her. you owned a slave yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The you fuck? should get in a lot more trouble than just immigration yeah. You, what the fuck well I just as a white dude it was so great to read that story I this is like well, that's one you can't put in my column. <laughs> yeah, that's just, that one is not on me. Well, I did see a bunch of responses. I connected that were to like, you anyway. Yeah, <laughs> Nick yeah. Mullins said Right I'm just dusting my hands off and Nicole yeah. Mullins said I could do it Because they were like This is just like Filipino culture Where everyone just has a bunch of sla- Even the slaves have slaves And it's yeah. like Okay I, well, I don't know what's going on over there yeah. It's like on Dharma and Greg Where Dharma's dog has a dog <laughs> yeah. Oh shit <laughs> I You remember that? I never watched oh, that Oh man show. I did watch Dharma yeah, and Greg Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dharma and Greg was great Yeah that was pretty good Better than two guys in a pizza place or Because Dharma was like the fun one uh-huh. And yeah. She had a dog, but quirky. Yeah, but like her dog also had a dog, and the boyfriend that doesn't was like, explain oh, anything. <laughs> you didn't explain anything. The, the second dog was Filipino. For yeah, reference. it was. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, the, interestingly <laughs> enough, the dogs were eaten by a Filipino family <laughs> on the show. <laughs> 
I'm allowed to make those jokes. Yes, oh. They own slaves. Yeah. yeah. Look, I'm, my takeaway from this was that all Chinese people grow up owning a slave. Oh, that's what Chinese I, people. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what I mean by Chinese is Chinese style Asian people. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Because sure, you gotta sure. be careful when you say Asian now. Indian guys get mad and they're like, "What? You mean not me? I'm Asian too." I don't no. understand why that him. would be it. Why I feel like that's excluding themselves. I don't know. Yeah, talking about the type of Asian with the bangs on the sides. You know how it's like little pincers. Mm-hmm. You know how they the do kind that. They can't grow bangs on yeah, the yeah. side. Yeah, you never seen that look where it's no. like two like side bangs that like wrap around they frame your face mm. so it looks like you got parentheses over your face yeah i mean i, I can I imagine them, what you're them, saying but uh, i don't mark echo sweatpants <laughs> <laughs> like skate shoes and mm-hmm. fucking yeah yeah but on your face yeah and that's an indian thing no 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 oh yeah no it's like a like a pacific islander southeast asian kind okay, of okay cool. sure. i just want to make sure that i'm like stereotyping correctly yeah yeah no you okay. got it right we cool. got it Cool, cool, cool. My stepsister we used did. to date a Filipino guy who was really in the insane clown posse. Sick. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, man. Hmm. Which definitely means he was breakdancing a few years before that. Mm-hmm. And then was like, I'm sick of dancing. <laughs> yeah. Time for the real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I won't be insane. You guys ever think about Juggalo? Like, shit, you ever consider... Giving it a run? No, you know by That's the time it. I was aware of it, everyone, like Vice was already like, yeah. oh, we're, we all went to the I, ICP I, I, gathering. I mentioned it on the show already, but like that guy that my stepsister dated, he brought over some like insane clown posse DVD. And I was probably 15 at the time. And I was like super susceptible to yeah. becoming an ICP guy. Y- you're close. I could, like, yeah. I, 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 that, <laughs> me at 15. Could like it was like I was like a cunt hair away from being yeah. like Fuck yeah dude cunt Fago hair. scale they're <laughs> on the Fago scale yeah did you just say a cunt hair yeah that's an expression yeah. you ever heard that one no. kind of you ever heard that no yeah cunt hair away from I have not heard that you ever heard someone heard... call lips uh, dick suckers yeah I'm gonna punch you right in your dick suckers <laughs> maybe not <laughs> like that, that actually <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's a Woodbridge thing interesting no I'm sorry just I wanted to I actually didn't know if I heard you correctly yeah. Uh, but well, it's, were... it's sort of like an older, respectful term from the antebellum South. It sounds old. It mm. sounds like a very British thing to say. Oh, yeah. Like one of the kind uh, Well, that's me. I use British slang. Yeah. Cunt hair the most pristine. Yeah. Of I like it better than, I don't know, I guess like pube. Yeah. It's a better word than that. Because pube's yeah. a little too general. Yeah. yeah. Pube could even be armpit hair it on, could be... on some real shit. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely more like gender specific yeah. anyway i'm sorry you almost joined icp <laughs> yeah i almost became, joined icp you almost became a juggalo well no he brought that dvd over and i remember watching it for 15 minutes and being like this is the dumbest shit i've ever seen in my fucking <laughs> you, life he took you a little too close yeah mm-hmm. yeah yep should have kept you at a nice safe distance because mm-hmm. I, I remember like like, like he had like we had like a similar taste in movies and shit like he liked cool movies so, and he was like, yeah, this is like insane clown posse. ICP guys get it sometimes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not every day, but you can, yeah. you can fuck with them a few times a week. Yeah. Well, it is like, it's 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 music for like, if you're a white dude that wants to listen to rap, but you're probably like white trash and racist, mm. and you're too dumb for Eminem, hmm. that's what Ooh, yeah. where ICP... That's a great way to put it. Yeah. That makes sense. Where it's like you, you understand the angst of Eminem, but it's not twisted enough. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you need like a Joker element. Mm-hmm. You sitting at the curb like, why doesn't Eminem say the N word? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's so good at rap. He good. <laughs> why isn't he? Why isn't he twisted? <laughs> why doesn't he understand my darker elements that just w- desire a chaotic mind, <laughs> like trans, like the transcends? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the transcends. yeah. It's a. It's like we came up with a a new version of of The Simpsons called the Transcends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bart Simpson is trans. Bart Simpson is trans Thank you, guys. There was a lot. I'm glad you guys took the lead with that one. Yeah, you. I know you were hesitating. Well, I wanted to give it to you because a big part of the show is doing the parody songs for sure. You know, I feel like we all take Adam. It took Adam a long time to get comfortable doing them because he's very bad at them. He's probably honestly. Like the worst person in the entire world at coming up with parody songs. Because then they can listen to Paul Simon and shit all the time. Yeah, you can't parody <laughs> that shit. The gay ass music he yeah. listens to. 
fucking acoustics. He do his talk, talk <laughs> parodies. He can't. Right. Duran Duran parodies don't yeah. work, you know what I mean? It ain't yeah. going. Check yeah. out this Roxy music <laughs> parody I came up with. This is like my ELO parody. <laughs> I did think of a good Tom Tom Club one just now. Yeah, what's that? What you gonna do when you get out of jail? I'm gonna eat some cum. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right. What do you consider come? Yeah, you get the you get the rest. Of it. It's, it goes. <laughs> that is good. Thank you. That's fun. Mm-hmm. Dana, you got one? No. What's your favorite band? My favorite band I don't wanna I don't no, know. No, you have to say it. No. Um Wow, I honestly don't know and I don't feel comfortable saying it. Why? I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Right now, I'm just thinking of... Trying to impress the cum heads is what it is. No, no. Looking for that, <laughs> that perfect fit. Yeah, you got to just let it go. I, I like just embarrass myself constantly on this show, and this is like very little consequence for it. Oh, yeah. sure. No, I mean, who just cares? People, I'm leaving. You just get inundated I'm never... with messages with people telling you you're wrong, oh. yeah. and then you just ignore them. No, no, no. Oh. This is... I wish that it was about the audience, but I feel like... This is the panic that I get whenever someone asks me my favorite anything, book, movie, There's music. There's so many options. I'm just like, I don't know, what was the thing I listened to last? Because I get like into, what happens to me is I'll like get hooked on a song and then I listen to that song like over and over, yeah. I know that. thousands know that of times and then I can't listen to it again. So then I like get into it. And also, I feel like I can't remember things that I return to. My a favorite lot. band is the Five O Goes West soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> the soundtrack. Why was the- I trying to answer seriously? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with me? I was like, Oh uh, my god, what is my favorite song? I don't know if I should have just said like the sound of my own farts. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, five O Grows Breasts. It's like a, this is where Five O becomes trans. Dun 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 dun. Five O Grows Breasts. Five O Grows Breasts. Five O Grows Breasts. Five O, what are you doing? You can't grow. Breasts and become a girl. <laughs> Papa, I want to become a lady. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be a girl, Vival. Please, what are you doing to your father? <laughs> and the cats are like all right guys or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Richard Spencer, they got yeah. the, the lower mm-hmm. side cut. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're also saying, we, I want to write, I want to do, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to script it and then just do all the voices for the podcast at some point. No. But my spec script for The Simpsons were Homer <laughs> gets red pilled, <laughs> and then Marge has to tolerate him like finding out about like the all right and stuff. <laughs> and he's like, Marge, did you know that the Jews are using cultural Marxism to turn Bart gay? Homer, <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop reading those websites, <laughs> Marge. I've got great news. I'm teaching Millhouse how to fuck Lisa. <laughs> Homer, stop that. No, it, it'll be good for Millhouse and Lisa's too uppity. <laughs> oh, no. I'm worried she's going to accuse somebody of rape. And she goes to her smart girl college. <laughs> so that's the idea for the, mm-hmm. you know. I pitch in, but I can't do any impressions. Yeah, there's no uh, resolution to the episode. I it's, don't think. it's I Karumba for the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, have you heard about this new website? <laughs> <laughs> it's called Stormfront. I can't do Burns, really. Oh, Smithers, man. Yeah. So uh, ahead of ma- his time. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Burns. Uh, I'm gay. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Good news. They finally fired that queer. <laughs> Rob Marge. Remember that queer I've been complaining about for 30 seasons? They finally <laughs> fired him. Oh, my, stop calling him that. <laughs> what? I just learned the word. I, they use it. They like being called that. <laughs> Oh my, you're still using it in a derogatory way. They put the Q in the LG thing. I don't... It's not my fault. You can't be fucking mad at me because... 525,600 Simpsons. How many before the cancel that show? Rent always reminds me how homophobic... Woodbridge, Virginia is because I uh, 
I was telling you before we started this shit, I used to work at AMC when Rent was out. And after a movie's done, they used to give us like the billboards. You could call it dibs on the display shit. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yo, Rent's the hottest shit at the theater right now. I'm calling Rent. I'm going to flip that shit on eBay. <laughs> yeah. Get this money. And like, before I could even take the shit out of the lobby, these two gay dudes rolled up on me and was like, what's up with that? What you about to do with that? And I was like, Psh, it's yours. 50 bucks. You got to take it out of here yourself. Mm-hmm. And it was like, hell yeah. And then like some dudes that I worked with, like, saw me like, oh, what were you, what were you doing with them? I was like, dude, I just sold these guys. They were like trying to give me shit for like doing business with gay people. Wow. Like legit. That's mm-hmm. even worse than just, it's not even about the movie. It's Marge, like about- you don't understand. It's about freedom of association. <laughs> it's not racist. It's libertarian. Oh, yeah, you know me. Solution. You know I'm a libertarian. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, damn, I can't. I can't take no money from him, for real. That's y'all crazy. crazy. Yeah, it was pretty weird. I wonder. I wonder where those dudes are. I hope yeah, y'all are listening. Hope you still I got think. that rent piece. Mm-hmm. I hope they're having sex. I hope they've learned. Yeah. 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 God damn it! If I'm lucky. Yeah. I hope I'm. Maybe they a were hoping that, that you, know you would saying? be like, "Oh, I'm like setting something up mm-hmm. for later." You, you just turn around like, and they're like burning it, and they're like, "Yeah, be wrong." Oh shit, dude. That would have been nuts. Tying tying Matthew Shepard to the billboard, beating him to death. <laughs> that would be really funny if they had tied Matthew Shepard to a rent billboard <laughs> instead of a fence. That would be a good sketch comedy bit, I feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could mm-hmm. see that on uh, Saturday Night Live. Right. Yeah. yeah, especially today. I feel like it's topical. Yeah. Yeah. People want to see, see it. Melissa McCarthy's <laughs> impression of the guy that beat Matthew Shepard to death. <laughs> That's where I was going to, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's Sean Spicer. What a card, huh? <laughs> Hiding in the bushes. I can't get enough of these Republicans. What'll they do now? Dude, I found this I found this thing. This shitty ass website that's like the best oh, it's Donald Trump jokes so good. And, and tweets and burns about Donald Trump. And it's all like it's some fucking like limp dick fifty year old poet. <laughs> <laughs> His own website and he like put together like you know, it's like quotes from like you know, uh, uh, John Stewart and like oh, Stephen Colbert, like just the fucking like liberal hit yeah. squad. Yeah, baby. all the hits, baby. Like, yeah. All the fucking Trump. Well, I don't think so. You know, like those guys. Yeah. And then like Garrison Keeler. <laughs> well, then it's like he makes up his own and yeah, it just goes off. Own. It like goes it's, off the rails. Right. <laughs> his are like just peppered in there and they're like the worst jokes you've <laughs> ever read in your entire life. Like uh, Trump Putin. Uh, can't wait to fly on his new plane, Air Force One years old. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll be like, one of them was like, one of them was like a yeah. traitor, an old man, and a bad guy walk into a bar. Yeah. It's all Donald it's Trump. Trump. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one of them, one of them was like, uh, uh, how does Donald Trump repudiate Martin Luther King's, uh, theory that all men are created equal? Answer. Uh, he's not equal to Dr. King or any <laughs> any human being capable of displaying compassion. It's like an angel fire site. With the, it yeah, is. It is. That's how it looks. It's with crazy. a custom cursor. Yeah. <laughs> it sprinkles it's like, off his shit. It's like older, it's like fucking older, like, just dumbass fucking liberals that like, I just imagine them at home, like, scrolling through the Wikipedia page for humor and they're like... Hmm. <laughs> you know? Oh, it dates back to the ancient yeah, Egyptians, yeah. does it? Ah, oh, I'm familiar with human. You mean uh, uh, the good Sir Jonathan Swift, perhaps? <laughs> yes, uh, humor is a literary device I've employed in many of my conversational endeavors. For example, the other day I called uh, the the president uh, quite an embarrassing buffoon. <laughs> If you want to had a good <laughs> chuckle. Yeah, if you want any idea of, uh, of my ability, one one time I intimated that his uh, genitals were small, <laughs> which you know, if you catch my drift. I happen to notice, perhaps you all have. He seems to be rather attracted to his daughter. He wants to fuck 
per se, <laughs> but spelled like F-U-Q-U-E, <laughs> the intelligent form of fuck. The internet yeah, makes me feel bad for old people, man. Yeah. They really it's fuck. Hard. Well, it reminds me of, I had this, my friend growing up, his like, parents were like, I think his dad was like a scientist and his mom was a lawyer, but they were like just, you know, old like yeah. Jewish liberals and they used to like just love Bill Clinton jokes <laughs> like, <laughs> they would like tell like uh, what what does a uh, uh, a vending machine and Monica Lewinsky have in common uh, they both have a slot that says insert bill here <laughs> like, just cackling I remember being like eight and being like yeah that's not fucking fun yeah. <laughs> once You're again not idiot. enough I do remember <laughs> <laughs> my da- like my dad and stepmom like just reading the like I guess the impeachment proceedings Mm -hmm. about the oral sex and like cracking up at it which like my parents are Dems and stuff and they are you know they're fucking they were DNC Clinton people whatever but just like laughing hysterically because they just got to read all this like just them being like and he took his uh his penis and inserted it into her mm-hmm. mouth and she then uh du- you know i didn't know it i was like 12 so i had no yeah. idea what was going on well, yeah we yeah. i remember like that friend me and my other friends we would laugh about the idea of his parents having sex because they were like the, <laughs> just the most non-sexual kind of like gross boring people <laughs> they were never within yeah, an yeah, arm yeah. length <laughs> like, of each other we would make fun of him by like talking about his parents having sex all the time <laughs> Because <laughs> it was like, like stop. Yeah, I'd be like stop. My parents about fuck. Okay, my parents don't have sex. <laughs> we're like, we know. That's why it's funny because they definitely don't have sex with each other. Man, shout out to my parents for not giving a fuck about politics. My mom was just like, you mm. better vote Democrat, and I don't give a shit why. And then when any story would come out, she would just be like, mm. mm-hmm. yeah. My mm. mom doesn't vote. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think she votes at all. I don't know if my dad voted. My dad was like, uh, I kind of like. Uh, Jeb, I guess. <laughs> oh, He's like, Jeb seems all right. Oh, bless his heart. I have so yeah. many questions. <laughs> yeah, I think he, he he was like a fan of Jeb and then voted for Hillary Clinton. That's I was with Jeb news. for a second. I was rooting for a fist fight. I thought Jeb was going to like freak out and literally swing on this nigga because he was just well, like... He's a bitch. Though. Yeah, Trump yeah, was just calling him a bitch was. for months. <laughs> and I figured by the hundredth time... <laughs> Well, Trump did that to all of them. Like, knuckle None up. Of them can fucking hit. Dude, he was so great. That was the, the only good part of that. All he had. Just watching like, them that's all. What I couldn't understand is, like, you guys are clearly losing. Like, yeah. just stop trying to. I know. Just call him a bitch back, so and everybody weird. will go nuts. Yeah, all you yeah. have to do is, like, fight on his level. But they can't. If that's Hillary the thing, called they Trump a bitch once, she would have won the whole Midwest, dog. Kansas would have flipped. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because the votes were so yeah. close. Yeah. Just hearing her say bitch once. Yeah. Dude, he was so good. He should just... Yeah, I feel like the reason he's doing so poorly is because he doesn't have the opportunity to debate people. Yeah, yeah. No, he needs that, like, like uh, freestyle battle. He should just there. be debating people constantly. <laughs> there should never be any kind of... Every d- daily debate, you know? Yeah, right. Put Every, him in a fucking... You know what? There should be an executive order saying Rosie O'Donnell has to debate him. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, <laughs> I would pay for that shit on pay per view. You bring, look, she's a vile hog. You bring her, you bring her here. We're debating her in the rose garden. That way, we don't have to smell how how much of a pig she is. You can be surrounded by the roses. Just smell. Look, hey, look. I'm not trying to be mean, but she's a hog. <laughs> and they she's just keep cutting pig. off her mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The One of them fools. Oh, in the it must be the apple in her mouth. <laughs> One of them fools in the 1800s did that to somebody, for sure. Because you know what I'm saying? They don't have, like, all the press from yeah, yeah. Zachary Yeah, they Tyler's just had term. to, like, go <laughs> around you know debating saying? people. Yeah. You had to be like, hey, everybody, we're going to be in this square mm-hmm. for a while. Yeah. It was <laughs> and weird. Then you just became president through. by, like, riding a train around waving <laughs> to people from yeah. the back of it. That's how Jimmy Carter became president. He just shook a bunch of people's hands. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that's all, the reason that the, like, the whole... Election season is so long It's because of Jimmy Carter I thought he sucked the Ayatollah off I thought that's how I got it Oh maybe yeah. I haven't heard that Too He soon. would He's yeah. a very generous man True He would do it He sucked the Ayatollah off Yeah Ayatollah Khomeini Was yeah, that yeah. the 70s one? I think mm-hmm. so And this new one is Khomeini I don't know Right? I, that sounds right I'm, I'm gonna go with yeah. you on that Did you see that when When, when he tweeted uh, uh, Fuck What was it? It was the funniest tweet. It's like uh, the uh, the Ayatollah being on Twitter is already funny. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, it was something about. Oh, I like, thought you meant Jimmy Carter. Well, it was so <laughs> funny and like uh, 
in uh it was like Iran isn't as retarded as the United States. That's why we don't need things like free speech or whatever. <laughs> like, well, he's, he called he goes he goes yeah. So much going on. Well, there. It was something he goes he goes he said it was something <laughs> I hold on. It was the way it was worded. No, no, no. I want to believe it was that. I just wanted no, no. to believe it. Was it, it was those words, but it was phrased in a way where he's criticizing the United States for embracing free speech mm -hmm. and by saying like negative things about Islam or Iran or whatever. And it's like, you know, uh, uh, retarded states like the United States, you know, think they can have free speech. And then the response to it was a bunch of like woke Americans being like, how dare you say retarded? <laughs> <laughs> like prove the thing you're right. Y'all like, are right. It was so funny. <laughs> it was like this perfect like balance of, oh, all these people are terrible. Mm -hmm. It's nice when everybody. Good job, wrong. Ayatollah. Thanks, bro. Yeah. We I had told right. you so. <laughs> That's what I would change my name to. <laughs> Ayatollah. I don't know the next line, but. Khomeini. Yeah. yeah. Ayatollah Khomeini. <laughs> Ayatollah Comey. <laughs> just Comey. Yeah, just have Homer become the next Ayatollah. Ayatollah. Marge, do you know about these Muslims? They're trying to sneak into the country. <laughs> Homer, stop reading Gavin McInnes. <laughs> <laughs> but Marge, he's so cool. <laughs> I'm going to become a proud boy. <laughs> Homer, what is that? Homer, why are you spending so much money on the Anthony Cumia network? <laughs> Marge, I like these shows. Marge, I've, there's this guy, Louis J. Gomez, that I've been idolizing <laughs> online. I'm going to start taking adult karate lessons so I can be more like Louis. <laughs> Like how much time you're spending on podcasts? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I can't hear you. I was listening to a podcast. <laughs> Y'all fuck with that Comey Comey shit? Yeah. I had told Wait. you James Comey. Ooh. Maybe that's the next step. I tried to do a bit. I took it down immediately, but uh, I just wrote. Uh, <laughs> it was like a, a picture on Twitter, like uh, Comey's other memo. And it just said black lives don't matter. <laughs> and I got he like, said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet he did. That's why I thought it would hit. You didn't hit. A funny about FBI memos is like the FBI doesn't take notes when they fucking actually question a subject. What? what yeah, they, they just talk. To they them. just feel it. They just talk mm -hmm. to them, and then afterwards they go and then they they jot down notes about what what happened. That's uh. Yeah. Terrible. Hmm. It's weird. Yeah, that's, that's straight yeah. up, that's probably not good. Well, I guess, like, from a psychological perspective, it's probably better to not be taking notes when you're talking to someone. Yeah, only remember the greatest hits. I don't want to hear your album like you cuts. you can just make stuff up. Yeah, you can. you hear. Yeah. But what's, what's <laughs> also fucked up is, like, you can make stuff up, but it's, like, a, it's a pretty serious crime to lie to a federal agent. Yeah. So, like... If and depending and they've like hung people up on like the way they word something. Or sure. If you say I don't recall, or if you say no rather than I don't recall, like even if you legitimately don't remember, like that's you. You what run if into you, trouble there. What if you say you, like I don't even know, young? Yeah. So if an agent just <laughs> you says you say like, young is okay. Yeah, that's fine. If an agent about, says like oh clear. well he told me this or that or yeah. whatever, you know, Marge, yeah. it's very fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> All I know about the FBI is from what I watch on cop shows, like, and the police, like, it always seems like the FBI is, like, they fucking never, shit up. They never want the they FBI come in late. to come in. Yeah. They think that they're... They're taking all the credit. Yeah. They, they got the always, same suits on. Right. Who's in charge here? Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> this is my jurisdiction. I need the files right now. Mm-hmm. I've never seen a file in my life. That'd be a cool show about like an FBI agent that's illiterate. <laughs> I don't know how to read. I just I got a, a feel. <laughs> the feel, the feeler. Read this forty-five caliber. <laughs> pulls it on a just a, a five-year-old. You know. would be cool to be is a Texas Ranger. Ooh, that's what it. What is the difference between a ranger and a police officer? Well, if you're a there ranger. Yeah. Oh, great. The Texas it just Rangers, sounds cooler. The Texas Rangers are like Texas is like main investigative. Body. They're like the FBI of Texas. It does yeah, because you know cool. Texas it got their own much thing. Cooler. Yeah. Yeah. They gotta have special yeah. Yeah. names for stuff. They gotta feel better. Yeah. They mm -hmm. basically like serve the purpose of the. They're the Texas State Police essentially, but they investigate. You know. Yeah, and they're legally allowed to kick niggas through 
plate glass windows. Mm-hmm. That's you know in the mean? Texas Constitution. For I assume sure. they can just... With the N-word. It's in yes. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, I wonder how many times the N-word appears in the Texas Constitution. Gotta be six. Yeah. <laughs> My money's on six. Flags. Six flags. Yeah. Six flags, six N-words. Six N-words over Texas. Coincidence? Uh, yeah. Six, I think, I think six not. Six slurs over Texas. <laughs> <laughs> This is the, the, the change the park's name. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Texas pride is like a thing. I've never been to Texas, so I feel like it's just something I don't fully understand. I feel like it's mostly for people who move to Texas. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of those like, I wasn't born here, but I got here as soon as I could. <laughs> so I could affect the accent and become a fucking obnoxious yeah. piece of shit get Texas boots forever. big big ass boots mm-hmm. yeah yeah just Austin go. was filled with that just clicking like, around in the boots West Cowboy. Austin yeah it's mm-hmm. like, mm. oh yeah they have a South Congress it's all like fucking Los Angeles assholes mm-hmm. that, they're like yeah I gotta get some boots <laughs> I gotta get it uh, uh, <laughs> the number one thing I have to do is go to Allen Boots and get like a fucking real like a real Texan boot situation going on. I remember I have like an aunt in Montana and I was visiting her and she's lived there for a while, but she was telling me about this like Swedish guy who moved to Montana cause he wanted to be a cowboy, mm-hmm. which was like just the cutest thing. And she was like, you know, he was so nice and he was just walking around, but like he had the boots on and he had the pants, but everyone knew he wasn't a cowboy cause he didn't have a snap button shirt. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> like he didn't have the pearl, like the little pearl little snap joints, buttons. Yeah. And that's what you need. There's also, he's Swedish, step. so I'm sure he's just yeah. like, oh, where's the uh, cow? Wrong kind of blonde, my man. Mm-hmm. Why's that dude always eating meatballs? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he always assembling Who's furniture? Who's meatball dude over here? <laughs> Pickled Pickle herring. Getting fucking Lindenberry <laughs> juice all over the goddamn taxidermy. <laughs> <Who's> <laughs> <that> fucking, <laughs> a stuffed muskrat with a little juice yeah, yeah, dripping yeah. off the sense. He's got damn juice all over the... <laughs> well, I tell you. <laughs> Who the fuck? There's a Lego in my bear cape. <laughs> my bear cape. Ah. Uh. Why is he assembling <laughs> furniture yeah. out on the goddamn range? What are some other Swedish things, I guess? Um, Hockey, maybe? Man, that ain't a horse, it's a sob. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a sob instead of a horse. <laughs> what in tarnation? He's, it's, he's very blonde. Why yeah. is he so blonde? Uh, He's got blue eyes, piercing blue, like the sea. There's a German company that makes screws. These like uh, go on self self drilling screws. It's called a company called Spax, and uh, their spokesman is this weird German guy that's like obsessed with being a cowboy, <laughs> and he's like a celebrity in Germany. What for being like like eh, cool? I'm the cowboy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and they produce these promotional videos for their like line of screws with him. His name's uh, Connie, I think, or Ron, Ronnie something. I fucking forget his name. Ron Commie. Yeah, it's like yeah. Ronnie Ronnie Coner or something. And the, it's the most bizarre shit in the world where it's him dressed up as a cowboy, but he's speaking German to the camera, <laughs> and then they have to like dub over it with an actual cowboy, so like nothing matches up <laughs> in his mouth. <laughs> It's very... Here, let me pull it up. You can well, <laughs> I was just thinking, because so we got some like promotional material from Marlboro uh, which I don't know where the little magazine thingy went but it's like it's so weird to me because I guess sometimes we buy cigarettes and like it's weird to me that they've stuck with the cowboy thing for so long and that's what's supposed to like appeal to us as like two sort of generic you know city it's like that's not why we smoke cigarettes like that's not why a lot of people like just figure out another get, target, get into it find your demographic yeah give it in a night switch the packaging up a yeah. little wooden box figure it out like yeah. just maybe some I don't know what it would be people just smoking on the street that's all I need somebody just standing outside of a restaurant smoking that's right. that would trick you know that would be enough for me to smoke a cigarette <laughs> I'm gonna I'm okay. gonna play this alright oh this is Howdy, friends. Did you know that Spax is actually made in Germany? More than 50 million Spax are produced in Enemetal each day. That's a whole lot, ain't it? 
So it's quality made <laughs> in Germany. <laughs> Tight ass You'll shirt. Notice that through He's the so machine. old. Believe me. I put a rough figure on it, and I've used around 200,000 SPACs in my house. <laughs> to me, it's obvious that SPACs is the best. <laughs> Some can't decide what oh, to he's, use. Oh, he's wearing overalls for. and a black cowboy hat, and then they're all the same, ain't they? Just some. Spax has what plenty of different types is that, that you Jenna? always get the oh, best results that. without any stress. And you know that you should never save on materials. Oh, yeah, straight up wraparounds. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you my holy shrine. I've set up a new workshop, and I'll show you what you can use all the different types for. Yeah, you, you can tell. You can you can hear that German on him. He's even like walking upbeat. Yeah. So this is my main spax. He's standing next to a lot of spax. It's <laughs> just a whole wall full of spax. This spax is Ooh. different to a cheap screw. Why is it different? <laughs> the know-how that's put into it. And that's more than you think. The head has a breaking and cutting rip, for example. I'll take oh, one of these. He's spacks. taking the spax out. Yeah. How long is this? It's long because it's a promotional video made by the company. But oh, okay. Uh, that's not going to translate well at all. The podcast it just sounds like a thing. But go look up the information on. I Spax still feel like video. it's very silly just hearing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. trying to act know. like you're not German with them leather overalls on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. He's just walking around like clearly just a nice German countryside. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. That's yeah. not the American West. German cowboy. Schnitzel in the face ass. <laughs> just good good teeth. Marge yeah. nice decided teeth. to move to Germany to help fight the Muslims that are taking <laughs> over the country. Homer, stop doing this. <laughs> Homer, please. It's me, your good friend, Christopher Walken. Yes. You gotta stop being racist towards Muslims. Homer, this old right <laughs> stuff. It's not good. Great. <laughs> to be honest with you, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Got the choppers coming for us now. Mm -hmm. Sure. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they, they, man. They, they, they done found they us. They have been <laughs> fucking out. keeping me awake every night. Helicopters outside all the time. It's so I just typed in German cowboy and I'm uh, inundated with pornography. <laughs> Turn your safe search on. German cowboy Ronnie. He's not oh, turning his nope. second choice. He's even more, even more now. Is one of them me Hang fucking on, a I horse? I think I yeah. have a, I think my safe Wasn't search is on. Paying for that extra. Connie. It was something like that. Like Con Connie or. German cowboy. Yeah, I'm not going to. Older man movies. Free porn movies. <laughs> <laughs> cowboy Ooh, the cowboy and... novels that inspired Hitler. Man, I, I cannot be less interested in watching old dudes fuck. That's probably my least touch genre of pornography. Old, you know, dudes, old, dudes, old dudes fucking. The first, the, the, one of the first like weird videos I saw online, it's these two older Japanese businessmen sitting next to each other on the couch and they Hell start yeah. like rubbing each other's crotches through. That's their kind suits. of business. Ooh. Yeah, and then they just start passionately making out, yes. and it was like, yes, it sounds great. It was very disturbing. It was like so much worse than if it was just two guys fucking each other in the ass. There was this weird. <laughs> it's too erotic. <laughs> too central. Yeah, it's like too something like that. Real. They make out and then they do a PowerPoint presentation about why they're not gay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, my theory is that they were both uh, Filipino slaves <laughs> owned by Filipino Americans who all own slaves, by the way. Hey. Yeah, that's now the thing. Mm -hmm. What can you do? Mm -hmm. I just I love. It's a cultural I, I had thing. A, I, had yeah, a, yeah, a, I can't do you nothing. Know, it's a field day finding like woke twitter accounts justifying slave ownership <laughs> in the context I, of I I saw one that was like this is up for it was like it was like this is for filipino americans to discuss amongst themselves yeah, and right. i was like well I, I mean i can i feel very comfortable being yeah, yeah, like, we can talk like no i don't like slavery it made me feel really good i yeah, was like <laughs> ooh <laughs> i'm not involved but i am going to judge every yeah. filipino manny pacquiao's trainer white slave, slave. Manny Pacquiao, slave. Slave. That's. It's it's uh, uh, cyclical, circular. Yeah, it's sort of like a Ponzi scheme of slavery. It's a circle of slaves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the best tweet I found on it from Hannah Welch. It's a Ooh, white name woman. names. Big ups, uh, white woman. The Atlantic's <laughs> uh, "My Family's Slave" piece keeps reminding me of S Town, a beautifully told story that we probably don't have the right to read. Hmm. Uh. I, great they point. wrote it in the Atlantic. <laughs> yeah, it don't get no whiter, man. Yeah, Read it. It's that's. Oh, I found this in my notes. Also, next to that tweet I had saved, I wrote this to myself. 
A sketch show where the Property Brothers rape Lights Camera Jackson. <laughs> Wait, that's not what? one of the. That's not one of the sketches. It's the whole show. It's every sketch. <laughs> it's, I, it's all sketches, but the sketch is the same sketch. I typed that into my phone before going to bed last night. <laughs> <laughs> you put a little sleep hat on. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it. Night night. Uh, Hit the clapper. Yeah, She's like yeah. telling yourself a bedtime story. <laughs> yeah, all much. right, Nick and. Uh, it's the Property Brothers, but <laughs> you're just like your eyes are all fluttering. You're mm. like, will you tell me the same story tomorrow? I don't understand Lights Camera Jackson's deal, but I, I feel like he I... deserves to be violated by the Property Brothers. Lights Camera Jackson, is that another he's show like on, on the same no, channel? No, he's like on, he's a Twitter guy, right? He's a boy that reviews movies. Oh. Oh. Okay. Mm. Sounds like it. I was like, this is some child shit. boy. Yeah. Dis- it's Disney definitely, shit. hopefully a, a child and not an adult. With 45 year old man <laughs> lights yeah. camera jackson marge i've been getting really into the property brothers <laughs> that's good homer i want them to rape lights camera jackson <laughs> homer please it's <laughs> <laughs> an exasperated marge marge i've become an irony bro <laughs> what would it take for marge to leave on some real shit mm-hmm um, yeah, you know, Homer almost killed her a few times. Yeah. I thought they the kids they got, got divorced, divorced and divorced once Homer some... was dating Lena Dunham like two seasons ago. Oh Jesus Christ, I missed yeah, that. Yeah, don't it makes sense though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, how about an episode? Of course, where, Lena would hit it next. Where Lisa has to get <laughs> Homer Ridiculous. kicked out of the DSA because Homer had used to use the N word on Twitter. <laughs> I think that's a real yeah. <laughs> that mean. If I, Marge, Lisa's <laughs> trying to get me kicked out of the DSA because I she found out about my pre woke period. <laughs> <laughs> Homer, everyone's happy for you that you're woke now, but you can't <laughs> demand to be in black spaces. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to be in black spaces. Carl gave me permission. Homer, like, that wasn't Carl. That was Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Homer, I'm not the black one. <laughs> <sighs> he's, he's, I wish I could do a Carl. Yeah. He's right. I know. Yeah. I feel right, it's yeah, hard because I feel right. like your impressions are so good that I feel bad chiming in I'm, I'm, with like yeah, a yeah. shitty impression. I'm just gonna give it the old college try there. Only Black Simpson. Yeah. yeah. Well, give also it a run. the, the uh, Lou. Black, Lou Black Bart. Mm-hmm. Black Bart. Carl. Carl. Um, the child. There's oh, one the of class, their friends, but I don't know his name. Wend Wendell. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wendell. They just let him cross his arms like a b boy. Mm. <laughs> he never had any lines. <laughs> like, We're not gonna hire a black voice. Marge, they this. kicked me out of the DSA because <laughs> <laughs> he's listening to Gucci Mane. Yeah. <laughs> they found out I called somebody a faggot on Tumblr in 2010. <laughs> now I'm not allowed to be in the DSA anymore, Marge. You know how important socialism has been to me for the last four months? <laughs> they can't take this away from me. Homer with the rose emoji on his yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Homer with the rose emoji. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love you, Homer. Oh, we're glad that you're woke. Well, uh, fuck it. I guess I might as well just be racist now. <laughs> They're not going to let me join the DSA. I'm going to start my own DSA. It's just a Stonecutters episode. <laughs> but it's a DSA. Mm-hmm. It's he's a got, secret. He's got a birthmark that looks it's like a, a rose. It's a secret. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what's the DSA? It's a secret. Oh, boy, I wish I could do Lenny. Give you a week. I feel uh, like next it's week you'll have it. That's a pretty good Lenny in my off time. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you see the people asking her about the, the DSA. Mm. Shut up. Uh, are you a political group? Shut up. <laughs> Barney, do you want to join the DSA? You have to be that trans version of Barney from the episode where he quit drinking. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. Well, I'm off to market. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Barney that's allowed in the DSA. This is the Marge Barney. Yeah, why was he? Why was he sober? Because he like got a girlfriend. Nah, because there's that video of him at the party where he's like, "That's what I look like when I'm drunk." Oh yeah, and he finally mm-hmm. was, I was like, "No, oh, that's a oh, fuck." Once I do Barney, I can't go back. Yeah, but yeah, that, yeah, that's the switch. That's the kill switch. No, that's uh, yeah. No, it's gone. Oh, damn, whoa. it is gone. Uh, well, yeah. it was fun while it lasted. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a stage we call Professor Barney. <laughs> 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 this is what you look like when you're drunk. Remember? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm off to market. Barney, you're... No, he goes, 
Marge, you're embarrassing us. Oh, it's just Barney. And then there you go. I've recapped that. Yeah, scene that was for a great you. episode. Thank With you. Vague approximations. Mm-hmm. Nailed it though. And, it was uh, good. That is a fun riff though. DSA Homer. Mm-hmm. Oh, DSA Homer. Muslim band Homer. Yeah. <laughs> Muslim band Homer is pretty great. Filipino slave Homer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also a banger. Marge, I'm Filipino now. I'm allowed to have a slave. <laughs> Homer, you're not Filipino, but I'm yellow. <laughs> <laughs> You're yellow too. That's Filipino, right? What if like what if Matt Groening oh, was shit. like what if Matt Groening, What if Matt we're supposed was like to be Chinese, aren't we? I mean <laughs> there are characters that are white on the show. <laughs> If uh, Matt Groening was like J.K. Rowling and he just kept like revising The Simpsons <laughs> over and over, and he was like, "Actually, they're mm-hmm. they're all Asian," mm-hmm. and Apu is like a Rachel Dolezal character, and if that's they, why Hank Azaria is playing her. Just, like, just, 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 I have been Nigerian my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> if they released that The Simpsons was all Filipino right now, mm-hmm. the Philippines would shit. They'd be yeah. so happy. It would be nice. As yeah. mo- as I'm sure t- most of it is drawn in the Philippines. At I, had this a, point. I had a Filipino homie in high school, and all I know about Filipino people is they are aware of every Filipino celebrity. Yeah. Mm. Like we were like juniors in high school, and he was telling me that. All six of All six <laughs> yeah. celebrities. Yeah. The, uh, the woman on the raisins box. Yeah. I would uh, just remember him Dave telling me Pacquiao. the new lead singer of Journey is Filipino. I'm like, dog, we're 16. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Oh my God. How'd you know? <laughs> oh, fuck. That's funny. <laughs> Marge, did you know the new, <laughs> the new lead singer of Journey is Filipino like us? <laughs> We're not Filipino, Homer. <laughs> well, mm. if I'm not Filipino, then why do I have a slave? <laughs> <laughs> Answer me that, genius. Cut over to Millhouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just chained up. Can I go home? He loves it. I want to go home. <laughs> Shut up, Bart's friend. <laughs> Lola Milhouse. That's your new name. <laughs> You're doing it because you love Lisa. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to marry Lisa, you'll make us dinner. <laughs> now go sleep on that laundry pile. <laughs> oh, man. The Simpsons are going to send a lawyer like to all our cribs. Oh, I'm being sued by the Simpsons. I'm <laughs> <laughs> saying Homer is Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be like my proudest moment. I'm gonna do a spin-off. Consider yourself just, served. I'm gonna do a spin-off that's just called the Homer Simpson podcast. I I listen to, I would listen to you, you do should. that for and an convenient. hour and a half. You wouldn't even bro. need you wouldn't even need guests. You know, in fact, you would be hurt. We got enough money guess. coming in now off the premium episodes that like I was thinking about bankrolling a podcast network and I had an idea to just pay two women. To just talk about their feet and like putting on shoes oh, for, Ooh, sure. for which an would, hour. Hey, which would crush? Dude, I, Hello. Yeah. No. If you want to, yeah. If you just want to be the the woman, the two women that just talk about. It. I'll be cast. two. I'll be the two women. Yeah. I don't want to split cast, it with someone. Funky yeah. hey, feet. No, just feet wow, cast. my feet smell. You can't. You can't. What? My feet smell worse. You can't keep a conversation going for a fucking hour with just one person. Yeah. Unless uh, your Bill Burr is the only guy that can do it. Yeah. Oh, with just myself. Mm. But I'm pretending to be two yeah. people. Anyhow, copyright. Fine, me. I'll no split it with someone else. No one can steal my idea of of hiring basically prostitutes <laughs> to do a foot not, podcast. Podcasting yeah. is not prostitution. Prostit- yeah, yet. podcasting the is not prostitution. The law has not caught up to that. Technically, Talking you're right. About your you are feet right, but it's not not yet. Is just mm-hmm. I'm a paralegal, okay? And I know the boundaries. You're good. I'm gonna be a you're what? Flint you're a paralegal. Podcasting. I'm a pair of legals. Mm-hmm. I think I still yeah. remember when you the, sent me the 100% real official Homer Simpson podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Dan Castellaneta here, voice of Homer Simpson. And you're listening to the Fox Presents, brought to you by Tide and Maybelline, Simpsons 100% copyright real trademark podcast. 100% legally allowed to be used. All this content belongs to us and is endorsed by both Fox Network and Tide and Maybelline and Tide and Viacom <laughs> and everyone in the entertainment industry. Uh, Scientology told me to do this. <laughs> uh, 
<sighs> oh, on a side note, I still tell people about when you sent me uh, the uh, mom's feet. Was it the, oh, that, yeah. This is a crazy YouTube video. You? Yeah, man. It was like That's random funny. as fuck. Uh, like, yeah. we hadn't talked in like two weeks. Yeah. And you hit me up at like <laughs> yeah, one in the yeah. morning. Like, yeah, I was no words. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> fuck with this. Yeah, and I like found this mom's feet on YouTube is like a great search. <laughs> and I saw this one video where this guy's like oh. just pulling off his mom's sock while she's asleep. Yeah. I remember and then this. the camera's moving around and then you just see his dick come up in the frame and he comes yeah. on her feet. Boop. Like yeah. four Wait, seconds of dick. No, I don't. He had that shit this. primed, yo. Yeah, yeah, wasn't there yeah. one so good. <laughs> wasn't there one where like somebody got upset that someone was filming her feet? I feel like that was a thing. Oh, it must have been. That's got at least only one video like that? <laughs> only one that I yeah, saw. one a week? Where he's like filming and she's like, what are you doing? That's half of Vimeo. Marge, I'm really <laughs> defeat now. This is women being upset that they're being filmed. Yeah. yeah. Homer, did you put a video of Lisa's feet on the internet? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> he just tiptoes oh, out. Why are you he just <laughs> Homer, lock this door. What are you doing in there? <laughs> well, I'm not uploading videos of Lisa's feet to the internet. That's for certain. <laughs> I want to dial up. do <laughs> 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 oh, shit. All right. Well, that was a fun episode. You guys yeah, uh, were good. And uh, yeah, yeah, man. It's come down west. That's thanks for, yeah. having thanks us. for having us. Man. Can't wait for. Yeah. Come all out there. Instagram. Whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm listening. on the internet. Fuck with me. Yeah, mm-hmm. guys. Uh, if you enjoyed Dana and Jamel, Jamel's got his own podcast called Airbuds. Yeah. And Dana's works at some job. So if you want to see that, hanging out. Follow, follow me on Twitter and stuff. Yeah. yeah non profit comic doing on stuff. Twitter. It's What's not your Twitter, G? Dana C. Bell. There you go. Yeah. I'm d- working on stuff. And uh, starting next week, I'll be back in New York with... Uh, Two slices of pizza? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what he the calls boys. them. Yeah. He calls them his two slices My two of slices. Pizza. Yeah. My, my two, two slices. favorite slices. My, my New York large, slices. My two large sons. <laughs> yeah. My two, big, my two big baby boys. Can you get that done legally? Can you just make them like your, you know, executors my, to your will and your kids? Yeah, probably. Bet. Mm-hmm. Oh. Lock that down. Okay, well, good night.